Hello dear friends, Sunday, November 19, 2023, Sunday morning here, and it is a glorious morning. The sun just went behind the cloud for a second, but it's coming out again, as you can see, just beautiful sunshine and um, getting ready to go to church in a, in a few moments. I thought I'd just put together this quick video for you. I want to dedicate this video to my good friend, Abby. She is an amazing, talented singer from Tokyo, and I'm going to put a link to her channel uh, in the description so that you can see uh, she's very inspiring and she had, has a strong dedication to music in her life and um, she's got an amazing singing voice it's just so inspiring so this video is for you Abby I hope you're doing well and to all my online friends um, uh, Jean Misao and and uh, Ati Shawi and, um, and many others that I I'm encouraged by that uh, post me messages. I really appreciate that. I think in the future, as we move towards more isolation, our online friends or our virtual friends are going to become more and more important as we face the evolving into an era of social isolation. Anyway, uh, the songs that I want to share with you today are um, from the period in history we know as the disco era, right? 1978. In 1979, the first song from 1978, uh, it, and both of these songs are have a theme, well, all the songs basically in, in that time frame are celebrating um, dancing, right? The first one is, is uh, the name of a dance. The second one is also the name of a dance. And at that time, there was hope for the future, uh, perhaps of the coming decade, uh, maybe it was just a, a celebration of life, and um, life itself is 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 um, an exercise in humility. You know, we are forced to face the humiliation of life, whether we want to or not. We can try and be proud and stoic and ha what have you, but as you age, you realize that that eventually goes by the wayside. And perhaps there's only a few ways to ease that pain. One is by laughter. And perhaps another one is by dancing. I, I'm thinking of the story when David danced, right? He danced naked before the Lord because he wanted to celebrate. He was all happy. And his wife told him, oh, that's shameful. You know, you're making a fool of yourself. And that's essentially what it is. Is, is um, At that time in history, at that time in history, I was in high school in the late 70s. And a disco was anathema for for the rocker crowd i was part of the rocker crowd and we didn't want anything to do with disco of course we were all about you know the doors and zeppelin and all that stuff but if you look back on the actual music itself it's no wonder it was so popular because it's very catchy and and uh, very positive upbeat uh, 1979 most of the top 10 songs of the year if you look at the billboard 100 were disco songs and 1978 as well, a number were, were disco songs. I think the peak was in 79. And then as soon as 1980 hit, it, that that's kind of switched over to uh, New Wave and, and it kind of just died. I th don't think that society was <clears throat> able to embrace the idea of dancing as a, as a um, something that could last because it is a, a form of self-humiliation when you, when you think about it. It's being willing to to make a fool of yourself while celebrating, you know, life. And that is a rare thing. And it was kind of like a, a rare collective consciousness that occurred at that time. Uh, perhaps it, there was a, um, a perfect storm of, of factors that, that allowed that to happen. And all the cultural icons that went along with it at that time. In any event, um, it is what it is. And um, so these two songs I'm going to link for you. I hope you enjoy them. I, I've been playing them on loop this past week. And, and um, the band that plays them is very tight, very clear and concise. So they present the songs, I believe, in, in a perfect way that they're kind of meant to be played, especially on the second song, the, the um, piccolo or flute, what have you is uh, so sharp and clear it's it's you know like a bird singing it's just very very um uh, a good feeling it gives you a good feeling and so um i hope you get something out of them as much as i did and again 
thank you so much, Abby. God bless you for your inspirational music. Your, your singing is, is uh, a blessing to me. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, so I just thought I'd put a link. I'm going to put a link to those two songs, put a link to Abby's channel. And I hope that you have yourself a blessed, wonderful day. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well. Spend time with people you love. Get some fresh air. And um, hustle. <laughs> Boogie and hustle. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye now. I love you lots. Take care. Bye-bye.